Hello and welcome to my first A2 chemistry video on aromatic chemistry or agreens. So what we need to know about is benzene. This is C6H6, six carbons, six hydrogens with an empirical formula of CH. And this is how the displayed formula is drawn. So you have six carbons in a ring with a circle between them and there's a skeletal formula too. Naming benzene molecules. So the, the suffix is benzene and whatever you have coming off the ring is on the front. So if you have one CH3, it's methyl benzene. If you had C2H5, it would be ethyl benzene. You have chlorobenzene, you can have bromobenzene, iodobenzene. With NO2, it's nitrobenzene. If you have two, you, have, you can have 1,3-dimethylbenzene, 1,3,5-trimethylbenzene. And then here you have a selection. You have two chlorines, one bromine, and a methyl group. Now, the methyl becomes the lowest number, so it's, that's where the methyl is. And then you do an alphabetical order, so it's 3-bromo, 4,5-dichloro-methylbenzene. Properties of benzene is not very reactive. This particularly with Br2, bromine, it doesn't go undergo um, electrophilic addition reactions. Now, some of the properties which will come more relevant later. All carbon-carbon bonds are the same length. It is very stable. Now, we know this because if you were to have a molecule that is six carbons with a double bond, with one double bond, plus hydrogen, that's hydrogenation, that's... A, just a simple addition reaction the enthalpy change is minus 120 kilojoules per mole minus one so if you had three carbon double bonds plus three h2 you would expect to be minus 360 kilojoules per mole minus one the experimental um, enthalpy change of hydrogenation of benzene is minus 208 we'll explain why that is important later now Kekule's model, I think that's how you pronounce his name, not quite sure. Um, he said that it was benzene had six carbons with three carbon double bonds. Now, to, this would you'd expect to be able to react with bromine in electrophilic addition reactions, but it doesn't. To overcome this, he said that there were two isomers of benzene. So the double bonds were constantly changing place. Instead of having one, three, five for double bonds, you'd have two, four, six. And they were constantly changing between the two isomers. But there are some problems with Kekule's model. And the main one is the hydrogenation and the carbon-carbon bond length. If there were three carbon double bonds, you'd expect that half the bonds, carbon single bonds, would be of a different length to carbon double bonds because a carbon single bond has a length of 0.153 nanometers and a carbon double bond has a length of 0.134 nanometers but in fact all of them were 0.139 and also the hydrogenation of benzene as we saw earlier you'd expect the um, hydrogen the enthalpy change to be a lot higher than it was so we came up with this model the delocalized model now if you remember when we did alkenes in AS you have pi bonds so all the carbon single bonds are sigma bonds but then there's a delocalized ring of pi bonds which the p, the p orbitals are overlapping of all six carbons this accounted for the carbon carbon bond length and the enthalpy change of hydrogenation because this makes it a lot more stable because it's a lot harder to break that ring now reactions sadly a lot of unit four is just learning reactions and you've got them here nitration benzene plus nitric acid becomes nitrobenzene plus water conditions sulfuric acid catalyst 50 degrees celsius halogenation benzene plus any halogen becomes a halogenated form benzene chlorobenzene plus hydrochloric acids or hydrobromic acid or hydrogen bromide rather and conditions it needs a halogen carrier which we'll show later now these are examples of electrophilic substitution reactions mechanisms so very simply an electron 
goes from the ring to the halogen or the electrophile which then joins to the ring but it's got a positive center so a hydrogen then gives an electron pair to the center because that's an unstable intermediate and then you get the final thing and a proton so for example here's nitration you've got a few steps before that because as you see you need to get a positive form of the ion so this you get nitric acid plus sulfuric acid we said was the catalyst becomes no2 plus plus hso4 minus plus h2o the the mechanism occurs and you're left with a proton the proton reacts with the hso4 minus to become h2so4 this means that that has become unchanged in the reaction so it is a catalyst halogenation is very simple except you've got something called a halogen carrier for example you can have febr3 or as you can see you've got alx3 fex3 or in some cases fe itself now what happens here is that if you add bromine to febr3 you get a br plus the electrophile plus febr4 minus it's essentially febr3 here is a catalyst and it works exactly the same with if you had al bl3 BL3, sorry. You get Br2 plus AlBr3 becomes Br plus plus AlBr4 minus. The reaction occurs, you get a proton, proton reacts with the FeBr4 minus, creating that plus hydrogen bromide. Bromination. Alkenes. Pi bonds are the localized electrons of there's a pi bond between the carbon double bond. High electron density, which polarizes bromine. Electrophilic addition happens bromine joined. Benzene is delocalized pi bond, so there's a less than electron density, no polarization, which is why the halogen carrier is needed. Another chemical we have phenol. A phenol is essentially just a benzene ring with an OH group, but we call it phenol. And here's the example of how you name it. 2,4-dimethylphenol. So it's exactly the same sort of rules, but in this case it's not benzene, it's phenol at the end. Reactions, yay, more reactions. With NaOH, here's what occurs. It is essentially a reaction to form a salt. In this case, you've got a sodium salt, which we would call sodium phenoxide. So you get phenol plus sodium hydroxide becomes sodium phenoxide plus water. And this is what it actually looks like. You can also have the same reaction with sodium as well, which is on the next thing, except in this case, you need two phenols, two sodium become two sodium phenoxides plus H2. With bromine, now, bromine can undergo electrophilic, well, can yeah, undergo electrophilic addition with phenol, and I'll explain why in a minute. Reactivity. Lone pair of electrons on the oxygen of the OH increases electron density and polarizes bromine. Uses of phenols. You have alkyl phenols, which act as surfactants and detergents, chlorophenols, which act as antiseptics and disinfectants, salicylic acid, which you'll know is used in aspirin. Yes, that is made using a phenol. It's actually got a phenol, and off it comes a carboxylic acid group. Bisphenol is epoxy resins for paint and polymers such as Kevlar as well and that's all it is to it a lot of this is just go over it again and again and again until you've learnt it but there's not much they'll ask you it's mainly learning the reactions so in conclusion we have benzene which is C6H6 the Kekule model which is three double bonds and the delocalized model which is a delocalized ring of pi bonds it undergoes electrophilic substitution and you have phenols as well and that's all as usual, like, comment, tell me what you think, see if you want any more, and thank you for watching.